dear students in this lecture we will cover how to handle the images in uh, java fx uh, particularly we will cover how to add an image in your application you can add any image as an application in your application so any image will be treated as a node as uh, other elements like uh, text box or your button in a similar way image is uh, uh, image is acting as a component and uh, you can add an image in your application so let's see how we can do that thing in JavaFX so image class is the class that represent the graphical image and uh, uh, name of the class is image so capital I so and the image view class that is another class that can be used to display an image so uh, in order to display an image uh, on JavaFX application it is a two-step process first you have to create the object of image class then you can use uh, image view class to display the image on the application image class represents the graphical image and is used for loading an image from specified file name or a URL either you can load the image from the file name or you can load the image from a given URL if you know the web address of the image you can pass that address to this uh, uh, to the constructor of this class and uh, it will automatically load that image into the memory for example this is uh, one way of creating image object you can call the new uh, keyword and then call the constructor of the image class passing it the address of your uh, image uh, that is on your computer system so it creates an image object for the image file and under the directory image in the java class directory or another way is there that you can use the same uh, constructor new image but in uh, instead of passing the uh, you are just the location of uh, your uh, image file you can pass the address of web address uh, where the image situate so uh, by passing this address you can create the image object so that object then can be added to the image view then image view is your class that will be used for representing the uh, for uh, for uh, uh, that will be used for displaying the image on the application so image view is the node for displaying an image an image view can be created from an image object see so once you can create an uh, image object then you can use image view class to display that uh, object uh, for example following code creates image view from an image file so first of all we need to create an image object so this is image object that is created from image class uh, uh, this is uh, your uh, constructor calling where I pass the name of the file as a argument to the constructor then in the next line I am creating image view uh, object image view object uh, by passing the image variable which we have created in the previous step uh, as an argument in the constructor of image view class then uh, image view class can be added to the pane and then pane can be added to the scene and then scene can be added to the stage and finally we have to show the stage so rest of the steps are same so method is similar uh, as you add any other control on your pane so uh, in this case it is two step process first you have to create the image uh, using the image class then you have to create the image view uh, using the image object so this is example a very simple example so I have created an pane using hbox this is setting the properties of the pane uh, then I have created a image object from the given image and then uh, added that image object in the window pane in the pane uh, after that I have created another image and uh, set the fit and height uh, set uh, the height and width of the image 100 by 100 and add that image also in the similar way you can add any number of images finally I will add the pane into the scene and uh, add the scene into a stage and finally show the uh, stage on the screen so by this method you can uh, display the image on the screen let's see uh, a small program so I have created a small program also uh, where I, uh, I have created a flow pane in the flow pane I set the padding uh, to 15 15 all side then vertical gap horizontal gap both set to 10 10 pixels then I have created first image 
the size of image will be 50 by 75. The image will be loaded by creating a new object of image class and passing that object as an argument to the image constructor, image view constructor. So uh, after setting the height and width of the image, I can uh, uh, add this image into the pane. In the similar way, I am uh, I have created uh, another image, I am one. Uh, same image I am loading again, but this time uh, I am rotating this image to the 90 degree. So I I created two images from the same file, two variables from the same file. One is I am, another one is I am one, and uh, I am one uh, uh, will be rotated to the 90 degree angle using set rotate method. Then I have added all the uh, images into. Uh, your uh, flow pane fp fp dot get children dot add all uh, I am and I am one both images are added into the flow pane finally fp flow pane has been uh, added to the scene and uh, scene has been added to the stage and finally uh, it has been shown using the show method when we execute this particular program you can see the output that I have two images so first image that is the image of uh, India flag. The so first image is horizontal. Second image is rotated at the 90 degree angle. So image is rotated at the 90 degree angle uh, by using the rotate method. So this is very simple program that uh, explain how to display the images on the screen.